What are the signs I won't be left behind in the rapture? The truth is, this is a question that a lot of believers ask themselves silently when the subject matter of rapture is being discussed. How can I be sure I will make the rapture? The first sign is that you have repented of your sins and accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. John 3 verse 16 says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The first preparation anyone can ever make towards rapture is to believe in Jesus Christ as his or her personal Lord and Savior. Jesus is only returning for the saints, and the saints from God's standpoint are those who have accepted Jesus Christ as the Son of God, believed that he died for their sins, and was buried, and that he resurrected on the third day. It is only those who believe in Jesus that will not perish. There are many who think that once a person behaves well and morally on earth, such a person will make heaven. But behaving morally and doing good works on earth is not a sign you will be raptured. Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9 says that we are saved by grace and that salvation is not earned by our works, otherwise we should boast of it. Anyone who has not received Jesus Christ into their life cannot be part of the people who will be raptured, no matter how morally behaved they are. Jesus said that he is the way, the truth and the life, and that no one can come to the Father except through him. The only way to access God is through Christ. The first sign that you will make the rupture is that you have repented of your sins and received Jesus into your life as your Lord and Savior. What that means is that you accept that you are saved by Christ and that after your salvation, you allow him to begin to lead you according to his will. Wanting to make the rapture without accepting Christ is impossible. Acts 16 verse 31 says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. There is no other way to be saved than to believe in Jesus Christ. Our salvation is tied to our faith in Christ Jesus. Your salvation is not tied into whether or not you are a good person or whether or not you give to the poor. Salvation is through one man, and that is Jesus Christ. Hold on to him, and he will hold on to you. The second sign is that you are experiencing the joy of salvation and the hope of glory. Isaiah 12 verse 3 says that with joy we shall draw out of the wells of salvation. The second indication that you will make the rupture is the joy of salvation. The joy of salvation is like a spiritual indicator in our hearts that reminds us that we are not citizens of this world, that joy is unconditional. It is not the same as happiness. You might be passing through a serious challenge, but then the joy of salvation just breaks forth in your heart and you are reminded that the challenges you are facing will someday be over. The joy of salvation is produced by the Holy Spirit in our hearts. Joy is the fruit of the Holy Spirit, according to Galatians 5 verse 22. Each time we commit sin, we lose that joy until we reconcile with God. David prayed to God in Psalms 51 verses 11 to 12, saying, Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. There would not be a need for restoration if something was not lost. David asked God to restore the joy of his salvation because sin had taken it from him. So, one of the ways you can be sure you will make the rapture is if you have the joy of salvation. This is the joy of salvation that one day I am going to be in heaven. One day I am going to be with the King. That joy reminds you that one day you will meet Jesus. One day you will meet God. One day you will be in glory. 
One of these days, I am going to walk through the gates of the city. That's what kept Abraham going. Hebrews 11 verse 10, he looked for a city whose builder and maker was God. That's what kept Moses going. Moses endured as seeing him who is invisible. And of course, that is what kept our Lord Jesus going. Hebrews 12 verse 2, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. It is dangerous to live for a week without something reminding you of heaven. No matter how busy your schedule is, the joy of salvation should pop a notification in your heart about your alignment with God. If you have lost the joy of salvation, then you need to pray like David until it is restored. It is one of the checks of whether you are in tune with God or not. The joy of salvation is what generates the hope of glory in the believers. What I'm saying is very practical. If you have ever thought about going to heaven, that hope was birthed by a joy that is unexplainable, and that is what the joy of salvation is. Colossians 1 verse 27 To whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Anyone that has Christ in him or her should have the hope of glory. If you claim to be saved and you do not have the hope of glory, then there is a problem somewhere and you need to settle it fast. The third sign is not really a sign, but rather a word of encouragement, that the Lord knows those that are his, he will leave none of them behind. Jesus said in John 10 verse 14, I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am known of mine. Jesus said, in John 10 verse 14, I am the good shepherd, and know my sheep, and am known of mine. Jesus knows those that truly belong to him. If you are truly saved, you do not have any need to be scared about whether you will make the rapture or not. Christ will by himself rapture you out in that day when he shall call up his saints. He knows every one of us that belongs to him by name. He is our shepherd, and we are the sheep of his pasture. When the trumpet shall sound at rapture, none of the saints will be left behind. We are not going to be caught up by our own strength, but by the Spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead, we shall be quickened to rise above the skies. 2 Timothy 2 verse 19 says, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his, and let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Christ said that it is not all that calls him Lord that will enter into the kingdom of God, but them that do the will of his Father. So, Christ knows those who call him Lord with their mouths, but have their hearts far away from him, and he also knows those that call and serve him from a pure heart, the question we should all ask ourselves is, am I really serving God or am I deceiving myself? All those who call on the name of the Lord are to depart from iniquity. Once you are serving God with purity of heart, you can be sure that Christ will find you at rapture. The rapture will be selective. Only those who Christ has in his register are going to be caught up. The church may have your name in her record, but does Christ have you in his register? What matters most is that Christ should recognize you. If you are not recognized by Christ, you cannot make the rapture. But if you have been serving the Lord faithfully, there is nothing to fear. You are good for the rapture. Up you'd go when the trumpet sounds. Watch and pray. Mark 13 verse 33 reads, Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. It is not enough to go to church or to attend a prayer meeting. You must examine whether your passion for the Lord is growing or declining. The love of many is already waxing cold. Deep down, many of us know that we are not prepared for rapture because a lot of things have taken away our passion for the Lord. 
activities have taken the place of true fellowship with the Holy Spirit in our hearts. Brethren, we all need to examine ourselves and judge ourselves before anyone else does. Right now, how can you define your walk with God? Are you still consistent with Him? Unfortunately, there are many of us that are bottling with secret sin, but we die in silence rather than to cry out for help. Hebrews 12 verse 14 Pursue peace with all and holiness, without which no one will see the Lord. Pursuing holiness is chasing after God. Chase after God. Follow His commandments. Depend wholeheartedly on what Christ did on the cross.